managed by Ant Kitty, the challenger, Colonel Nanuchka. Tina Ferrari is the capitalist dream. She won't look so cute face down in the ring. She thinks she's so sexy and so very strong. I will destroy her. It won't take long. <laughs> She is, fans, the number one contender for the glow crown. Her opponent from Beverly Hills, California, the glow. champion she is winning that very crown in a match against Nanotchka when the commission ruled the two top challengers would battle to determine the champion and kitty trying to incite the crowd as the two combatants confront each other outside the ring now Nanotchka has the champion up Body slams her right into the audience. Pounding on Ferrari. It's been a long, hard road back into contention for the Russian. After her loss to Tina, she went into concentrated training. Slowly climbing the ladder, defeating opponent after opponent. The girl from Alexandria, the farmer's daughter, Tara the Southern Belle, Ashley Cartier, and now she's in the number one spot again and she feels she's ready to take the glow crown. Both girls have yet to make it into the ring. Ninoska windmilling her around, and hurls her into David McLean's table. Tina springs up and challenges the Russian. Wow, she hits her with a flying body press. Referee comes out to break up the action, but the grapplers ignore him. Both are more intent on battling the other. Anaska has the champion up. It looks like she's going for a pile driver, but no, Tina reverses it. And slams the Russian into the side of the ring. Anaska refuses to release her grip locking her legs on the ropes for leverage. We've seen her arm strength when she applies that crushing bear hug. Ferrari struggling in Anushka. Gets the bear hug and turns it into a brutal backbreaker. Still, neither the wrestler has made an attempt to get into the ring despite the official's warning. Both girls are liable to be counted out here. The Russian has her by the hair, pulling her up, and it looks like she's trying to apply the sleeper. Tina struggling to get to the ring, hoping to throw the Soviet grappler off. And now both tussle in under the ropes. This is the first time the competitors have been inside the squared circle so far. The crowd chanting for Tina, and Aunt Kitty does not like it. McLean is making a big mistake. Giving Aunt Kitty the microphone is like asking an arsonist for a light. Now the champ locks up Nanotchka's arm, always thinking this weakens her opponent and allows Tina to get some of the win back. The champion has her up by the hair. Now twisting around, whipping her into the rope, setting up for a backdrop. The Russian tries to avoid it, but Ferrari shoulder blocks her through the ropes. And now Tina leaps on a fallen foe. She knows she has to take the fight to Nanotchka. Too many have laid back and lost. The champion attempting to leapfrog the Soviet and both go down. Tina now working her legs. The referee tries to break up the action and again he's ignored. These grapplers are focused only on each other. This match is a matter of pride. Neither one willing to give an inch to their opponent. There's a fire and a drive in these athletes that burns bright, spurring them on. They struggle around the apron. So far the ring has been too small to contain the intensity of this one. Back and forth. The power position changes. First one is superior, then the other. Slamming Ferrari into the apron. And Oscar now has Ferrari up, high in the air. She's going for a suplex. Working her around. And... Whoa! Crashing down on the arena floor. Again, the official comes out to break it up and get the combatants back in the ring. And Tina kicks Minotchka into the ref. All three are down. The champ charges the Russian. 
pounding at her. Pounding again and again into the crowd. And now Wilkes snapped Merring around to the cement floor. Normally, these two would have been disqualified a long time ago. But in a crown match of this importance, the referee has given them a lot of latitude. And we are seeing one of the fiercest matches ever. And Kitty putting her two cents in. And if I know Kitty, the pennies are probably counterfeit. Now the ref continues his count. But these warriors pay no attention. They've decided on a fight to the finish, whether it takes place in the ring, the audience, or the parking lot. An elbow to the midsection sends the champion back. Ninaska steps up the attack. Pulling her up, setting her up, preparing to send her crashing into the iron railing. No, Ferrari spins out, avoiding the collision. The Russian pushes her back and charges, and whoa, Tina sends her over the railing and to the floor. That is if both wrestlers are out. Neither one of them even realizing there was a 20 count going on. Ninaska in serious pain. Ferrari now standing on her shoulders. The ref counting for a breakup or a fine. This was a double disqualification. Of course, Ferrari holds on to a crown because of that. One look at Nanashka should tell her that this is not over. However, they will meet again. for the nice letter. I'm sure everyone was real excited when you came up with the winning lottery ticket. All that money would have come in real handy in fixing up the barn. It's a real shame the baby goat ate the ticket. Don't be too mad at him. After all, he's just a kid. <laughs> Promise to live by the golden rule? Always. Love, Amy. McLean, I'm your host. You've seen my glow girls coast to coast. You've seen them fight and take a stand. They've conquered all of TV land. I've signed them all, the wild and strange, and anyone in my price range. They make all arenas come alive. I may talk cheap, but I don't talk jive. McClane, he has no heart. He's against my girls right from the start. But I know how to stand my ground. I'm going to smack that tasty face sneak around. The others laughed and let me know they thought I'd fail with glow. But my girl showed them who's the crank. Now I'm laughing to the bank. 